WhatsApp is one of the most popular messaging apps out there and it just keeps getting better with every update. Recently, they have rolled out some cool new features like Meta AI for everyone and upgraded calling experience, transfer chat history and much more. And in this video, I'll walk you through the latest features and tricks that will help you master WhatsApp like a pro. Excited? So let's get started. Now, transferring your WhatsApp data to a new phone used to be a bit of hassle, especially if you were switching between Android and iOS. It usually meant having a Google Drive backup ready and dealing with USB cables. But WhatsApp has made things a whole lot easier. Now, all you need to do is head into the chat setting on your old phone, tap on the chat transfer option and scan the QR code that pops up with your new phone. That's it, your chat history will transfer wirelessly, no backup needed. It's a super simple and quick way to move your data to your new device. Pretty awesome, right? Moving to the next feature, WhatsApp recently added some new chat filters and there is one in particular that's really handy. The favorite filter. Here is how it works. Just swipe down on your chat screen and you will see a new filter called favorites. You can use this to add your favorite chats, group and even specific people you message the most. It's super convenient because once you set it up, you can quickly access these chats with just a tap. Now what's also great is that this favorite feature isn't just for chats. It is available in the calls tab too. So if there are people you frequently video call, you can add them to your favorite there as well. And this makes it really easy to get in touch with the people you interact with the most without having to scroll through your entire contact list. Now another great way to quickly access your chats in WhatsApp is by pinning them to the top of the chat list. What a lot of people don't realize is that with a recent update, WhatsApp now lets you pin up to three chats. And this is super useful because it ensures that your most important conversations are always at the top, so you don't have to worry about them getting lost among less important messages or spam. But that's not all, WhatsApp also introduced the ability to pin three messages within a chat. This means you can keep key messages or media files easily accessible without having to scroll back through the conversation. You can even tap to switch between these pinned messages, making it really convenient to stay on top of important details. Now, if you are in any family WhatsApp group, you know how fast those good morning images can stack up, eating away at your storage. But when it's time to clear out some space, figuring out which chats or group are hawking all the storage can be a real pain. Luckily, WhatsApp has added chat filters, just like the ones on the main chat screen, to make this easier. Now, you can sort your storage by one-on-one -on -one chats, group chats, and channels. This makes it super easy to spot the groups and channels that are filling up with media and clean them up in no time. WhatsApp, like other Meta apps, has recently received the Meta AI update and it can do a lot of cool things. For example, now you can use it to summarize long heated messages or even create the perfect response to certain messages. It can also generate high quality images like this one using AI. The best part is that all these AI features are seamlessly integrated right into your chats. Not everyone knows this, but if you look at the attach button in your chat, there is a new option called imagine. When you tap on it, you can start typing and as you do, WhatsApp will generate an image that matches what you're describing. The results are surprisingly accurate, but it does not stop there. You can even animate these images and send them as GIFs. It is a pretty cool feature that adds a lot of fun and creativity to your conversations. Now WhatsApp has also introduced a feature that many of us have been waiting for, that is the ability to edit messages. This means you no longer have to delete a message and send a new one just to fix a typo or make a quick change. However, there is a catch, you can only edit a message within 15 minutes of sending it. Once you make your edit, the message will show as edited in the chat, so others will know that changes were made. To edit a message, simply press and hold the message you want to change, tap the three dot in the top right corner, now select edit, make your changes and then hit the send button. It's that easy. Now gone are the days when you had to send photos as document to keep their quality intact, thanks to WhatsApp new HD support. But there is something not everyone knows, you don't have to manually select HD every time you send a photo or video. Instead, you can go into your setting, tap on storage and data and then change the media upload quality from standard to HD. Once you do this, the next time you send a photo or video, it will automatically default to HD quality. It is a small change but it makes sharing high quality media so much easier and more seamless. Pretty awesome, right? WhatsApp status also got a cool new feature, the ability to post voice messages. Now instead of just typing out your thoughts, you can actually record a voice message to share what's on your mind and how you're feeling. Here is how you can do it. Go to WhatsApp status section and tap on pencil icon. 
then tap and hold the microphone icon to start recording your voice message. Previously, you could only record up to 30 seconds, but now you can record up to one minute of audio. It's a great way to add a personal touch to your status updates. Our next feature is for those who are worried about someone reading your WhatsApp chats. There is no need to stress anymore because WhatsApp now has a chat lock feature. This feature lets you protect specific chats with either biometrics or a passcode, ensuring that only you can access them. To enable it, simply open the chat you want to secure, go to the chat setting and tap on the chat lock option. Once you turn on the toggle, the chat will be logged and hidden from view. To access your chats, just swipe down on the main menu and they will appear. It's a great way to keep your conversation private and secure. WhatsApp now also lets you share your screen during video calls. Whether you are helping someone troubleshoot an issue, showing off a presentation or just want to share something on your phone, this feature is super handy. Now what's really great is that you have the flexibility to choose exactly what you share. You can opt to share your entire screen, giving the other person a full view of everything on your phone or you can just share a single app if you want to keep other things private. Now this level of control makes screen sharing not only convenient but also secure. It's a great way to make your video calls even more productive and engaging. Emojis are a big part of how we communicate these days. But what's even better than regular emojis? I guess animated ones. Watch this. When I send a regular emoji, it automatically turns into an animated version. Pretty cool, right? Now not every emoji has an animation, but a lot of the popular ones do. Right now it only works if you send one emoji at a time. But I'm hoping WhatsApp will eventually let us combine multiple animated emojis. So guys, these are some of the new WhatsApp features that you should definitely give a try. If you think I have missed any feature, do let me know in the comments down below. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid.